At last year's FBI oversight hearing, Ray committed to protecting whistleblowers that have approached my office about wrongdoing at the uh, department and the FBI. Uh, do you commit to me, this committee, and the Senate as a whole, that any retaliatory conduct against whistleblowers uh, will be uh, uh, disciplined? I, I do, Senator, and, and uh, you know well, uh, uh, more than any other member of this committee, that I've been a staunch uh, supporter of uh, whistleblowers and of the False Claims Act uh, all, during the entire period of my role as a judge as well. I'm going to set up a hypothetical pack. Uh, fact pattern for you and, and ask you to tell me how you would handle it. Uh, the Justice Department and the FBI receive information from over a dozen sources. That's the first one. Second, those sources provide similar information about potential criminal conduct relating to a single individual. And third, that information was shared with the Department and FBI over a period of years. According to department policy and procedures, what steps would the department take to determine the truth and accuracy of the information provided by those sources? I'm sorry, these are whistleblowers, so they're internal sources? Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter where that comes from, just the fact that I want to know you got that information. How, how would you go about handling it? Yeah. So um, reports of uh, wrongdoing um, are uh, normally re reported to whatever the appropriate department component is. It might be uh, U.S. attorney's offices in the district in which it uh, allegedly took place. It might be uh, to the directly uh, to FBI components uh, and to FBI task forces. Um, um, in cases involving whistleblowers, of course, there are specific provisions uh, uh, for um, uh, making um, uh, complaints to the uh, Inspector General's Office or the Office of Professional Responsibility uh, or um, the Inspections Division of the FBI. Uh, recent lawfully protected whistleblower disclosures to my office indicate that the Justice Department and the FBI had at one time over a dozen sources that provided potentially criminal information relating to Hunter Biden. The alleged volume and similarity of the information would demand that the Justice Department investigate the truth and accuracy of the information. According to, uh, what st accordingly, what steps has the Justice Department taken to determine the truth and accuracy of information provided? Uh, Congress and the American people, I think, have a right to know. Um, so, as the committee well knows from my confirmation hearing, I promise uh, to leave. I promised to leave the matter of Hunter Biden in the hands of the U.S. Attorney uh, for the District of Delaware, who was appointed uh, in the previous administration. So, any information like that should have gone, uh, or should, or should have uh, gone to that U.S. Attorney's offices and the FBI squad that's working uh, with him. I have pledged not to interfere. Uh, with that investigation, and I uh, have carried through on my pledge. In April 2022, you testified to Senator Haggerty uh, that the Hunter Biden investigation was insulated from political interference because it was assigned to, as you just now told me, to the Delaware Attorney's Office. However, that could be misleading because without special counsel authority, he could need permission of, of another U.S. attorney in certain circumstances to bring charges outside the District of uh, Delaware. I'd like clarification from you with respect to these concerns. Uh, the, the, the U.S. attorney in Delaware has been uh, advised that he has full authority uh, to, to make those kind of uh, referrals that you're talking about or to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. And I will assure that if he does, uh, he will be able to do that. Does the Delaware U.S. Attorney lack independent charging authority over certain criminal allegations against the President's son outside of the District of Delaware? Um, he would have to bring, if it's in another district, he would have to bring the case in another district. But as I said, uh, I have promised to ensure that he's able to carry out uh, his investigation and that he be able to run it. And if he uh, needs to bring it in another jurisdiction, he will have full authority to do that. If you provided the Delaware U.S. Attorney with special counsel authority, isn't it true that he wouldn't need permission of another U.S. Attorney to bring charges? 
Oh, it's a kind of a complicated question. Um, if it, uh, under the regulations, that kind of act he would have to bring to me, uh, under, to the Attorney General under the regulations, those kind of um, um, charging decisions would have to be brought. I would then have to, um, 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 you know, authorize it and uh, 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 permit uh, it to be brought in another jurisdiction. Um, and that is exactly what I promised to do here already. Um, that if he needs to do uh, bring a case in another jurisdiction, he will have my full authority to do that. Uh, has the Delaware U.S. attorney sought permission from uh, uh, permission of another U.S. attorney's office, such as in the District of Columbia or in California, to bring charges? If so, was it denied? So I, I don't know the answer to that. I do, uh, and I don't want to get into the internal elements of decision making by the U.S. attorney. But he has been advised that. Uh, he is not to be denied uh, anything that he needs, and uh, if that were to happen, um, it should uh, ascend through the department's ranks, and I have not heard anything uh, from that office to suggest uh, that uh, they are not able to do everything that the U.S. Attorney wants to do. Well, let me uh, give you my view. If uh, Weiss, the U.S. Attorney there in Delaware, must seek permission from a Biden-appointed uh, U.S. Attorney to bring charges, then the Hunter Biden criminal investigation isn't uh, insulated from political interference, as you've uh, publicly proclaimed. Uh, if the Justice Department received information that foreign persons had evidence of improper or unlawful financial payment uh, paid to elected officials or other politically exposed persons, and those payments may have influenced policy decisions, would that pose a national security concern and demand a full investigation. And uh, when Ray was here, he seemed to a answer that question uh, in, in uh, uh, that it was a national security concern. I want your opinion. Uh, in the way that you're, if I, if I follow the question exactly right, if it's an agent of a foreign government asking um, uh, someone uh, and paying someone to uh, do things to support that foreign government in secret, yes, uh, I definitely think that would be a national security problem.